Hello and welcome to another episode, another video, or whatever you want to call it, of Coffee and Stocks. In today's video, we are going to quickly talk about Workhorse as well as Diamond Peak Holdings because they've had an amazing day so far. But before we get started, how about we get some lovely coffee? All right, let's get one thing straight. And that I am not a financial advisor, so please do not take my words as advice. Please drop a like on this video as well as subscribe because honestly, it does go a long way in supporting the channel. We are super close. We got like six or five uh, subscribers left to reach the 200, 200 subscriber mark. Once we do reach that point, we are gonna. I am going to do a giveaway uh, just like I did last time. So please subscribe to the channel and help the channel and I will help you guys back. So let's get started with the first thing. Looking at the Nasdaq, it is down 1% just like yesterday. Uh, it's not too bad. Uh, but you know, 1%, 116 points down is quite a bit. The Dow Jones also almost down 1%. It was lower earlier today for around 1.24%. Uh, it's not too, too bad. We do look at the heat map. Everything is pretty much down. Apple for the third day consecutive day is down this time at negative 3.17 percent it's not that good going for around 106 dollars i'm pretty sure if you guys don't already own apple stocks you guys should probably get into it because 106 dollars is not bad saying that they were going for almost 140 dollars earlier this week facebook also down google also down 2.42 percent amazon down 1.79 percent home depot down 170 JP Morgan, Bank of America also down. Overall, everything's pretty down except the healthcare center, which is good. Obviously, you know, hopefully they can continue making the vaccine for all of us. But let's go ahead and talk about workhorse, right? We do, let me zoom out a little bit. We do have workhorse up more than 9.17%, which is pretty amazing if you ask me, right? Today alone, it opened up at around $28.72, right? It closed yesterday at $28.03, right? So it went all the way to $30.67 at close, and then it finished today at $31.07. What happens if I refresh it? Whatever, right? So right now it's at $31.05, which is pretty good. In the five day mark, which is this whole week, it's been up more than 28%, which is pretty amazing, right? And the one month chart, it's been up 86%, right? So if you were holding a uh, workhorse on August 19th, at $16.41, you've gotten a total return of 86%, which is amazing, right? So if we look here, Roth raced, let me just zoom in, not at this lady. Uh, sorry, there's a lot of ads. So Roth races workhorse target at $33 after Lordstown compelling analyst day, right? So analyst Craig Irwin raised the firm's price target on workhorse to $33 from $27 and keeps a buy rating on the shares after the management team at Lordstown Motors hosted an analyst day, right? So Lordstown's team shared a compelling business plan that believe supports credibility from the commercial outlook, said Irwin, who expects partner workhorse to be a direct beneficiary of the likely commercial success of the company. Don't forget that Workhorse does own 10% of Lordstown, right? So if Lordstown goes up, Workhorse goes up as well. So that's pretty good. Uh, Lordstown will address questions regarding the uh, planned lower price for its endurance truck compared to EV peers by citing battery costs, super important. The readiness of the plant acquired from General Motors and its use of already engineered components from GM, Irwin tells investors the fly notes that Lordstown Motors announced on August 3rd that the company and Diamond Peak entered into a definitive agreement for a business combination that would result in Lordstown becoming publicly listed. We already knew they were going to become publicly listed in the March of Diamond 
Peak and Lordstown uh, with the new ticker symbol of right so if right diamond peak currently going for 29 dollars right and a whole week it's been up and down so you could tell the it has a higher volatility but it's still up more than 6.65 percent in a week so can workhorse rally from here right so here is a, a little thing from investor place uh, despite a couple of choppy trading sessions, Workhorse stock has hit new all-time highs in back-to-back -back sessions on September 16th through September 18th. Right? We love when our when our investments increase with little news. Right? We love when it just keeps going up and up and up and up because it just becomes more and more gains for us. Uh, so. As you can see here, a, a lot of a lot of the the prices, you know, it's currently what was it going? It's currently going for thirty dollars, and they raised it to thirty three dollars. I'm pretty sure it's gonna go to thirty three dollars in no time, right? If in one week it went from twenty three dollars to thirty three, from twenty three dollars, sorry, to thirty dollars with a twenty eight percent increase, I'm pretty sure once they get that. Uh, USPS contract it's not gonna just go to $33 this is gonna go to like $63 maybe that's a little bold but maybe right so workers shares uh, adding to their 836% year-to-date gains as the Lordstown Motors analyst they termed compelling right so workers right now having a great upside trend because of uh, Lordstown Motors uh, and if you own Lordstown Motors, you are having a great return as well. I personally think that Lordstown Motors is a great investment. You should definitely look into that. You should definitely have that in your portfolio. But don't forget to do your uh, due di diligence before you join in. Uh, workhorse manufacturing EV and utility vehicle continues to win laurels as, the, as a result of its precocious 10% stake in Lordstown Motors, right? So here's the highlights, investments, whatever. They're still thinking of 27 to $33, which is great. You know, and then you have uh, impressive gains will go on if Workhorse CO6 billion USPS contract. We already know that they are in the deals with this contract. And like, I believe they will get this contract. So hopefully they just keep going up they say even after gains of over 750 percent so far this year work cars stock is an ador affordable pick right so if we look at the year to date obviously it was going for three dollars 896 percent increase now if you were holding it back here in january and you had a sideways sideways trends you would probably sold a while back but Say, for example, if you were holding it here and then it jumped all the way to up here, you probably would have sold it already because, you know, come on, going from $4 to $20, that would have been like, yeah, I need to pull out, get my gains. But it just keep it just keeps increasing and increasing and increasing from this point to this point. It's 46.34%. I honestly think $30 for workhorse is still a good buy, right? It's it's just gonna keep increasing don't forget the end of the fiscal year is the end of september and maybe workhorse gets the contract by then so by the end of september hopefully you know there's a, there's a couple more weeks left but 30 dollars for workhorse is still a pretty good buy even if you buy it at 30 dollars right now or 29 dollars or wait next week if it drops one or two dollars and you buy in you would get you know pretty amazing returns not it not even gonna lie so bottom line uh this is still an a rating on a lot of uh portfolio gradings so join in don't forget to do your homework don't just invest because i'm saying so uh make sure to do your homework workhorse doing amazing things just keep growing and growing and growing you are already used to the ups and downs that they have right here but if you believe in the company, just like I believe in the company, I think you guys will get amazing returns. 
just like I am getting amazing returns. The same thing goes for Diamond Peak and Lordstown Motors. I think they're an amazing uh, company and they will increase dramatically right after the merger that they have uh, between Diamond Peak and Lordstown Motors. I believe they're just gonna, you know, shoot through the roof. They're gonna make amazing, amazing stuff. All right, that was the end of today's video. Hopefully you guys liked it. Lordstown Motors and uh, Workhorse is doing amazing things. You know, the contract coming in for one and then the merger coming in for the other one. I think it's it's great. Uh, so make sure, you, make sure you guys have this in your portfolio or at least on your watch list and jump in the wagon as soon as you guys can. Don't forget to drop a like on this video as well as a subscribe because honestly it does go a long way in supporting the channel. Subscribe because I will be doing a giveaway as soon as we reach 200 subscribers. But see you guys next time on Coffee and Socks.